Friends of Privateer FX. Coming at you 28 November. End of the month here. A couple of noteworthy events going down today. We got U.S. advanced goods, GDP. We got retail sales. Um, GDP's uh, revisions for Q4 today, 8.30 uh, New York time, 2.30 Swiss time, new home sales, and then I think most importantly we got Powell speaking at the Economic Club in New York, 6 p.m. Swiss time. So we're kind of stacked uh, on the uh, North American side of the ledger today should be interesting um, you want to watch bonds to see how they react to Powell we had some relatively hawkish um, talk f from some sped fed speakers yesterday um, and so we want to see if Powell confirms this and see what happens in the bond market let's look at bonds now we think uh, these long bond futures are a sell. We got short yesterday here in the 20s. Uh, we will be selling again through 139.20 to add. And then we're also going to be cautiously fading this stuff um, at 141.20. So we feel this region here above, from 141.20 to 140.20 is a sell, and we have this tiny little starter position here, uh, 139.25 we hit. So let's see what Powell says. Uh, let's see what equities do. Obviously, equities are higher today. A lot of conjecture about what's going to happen at the end of the week with Trump. Um, it'll be very interesting um, as our colleagues in Paris and in Chicago seem to agree that you know Trump's watching the equity markets. He's going to uh, pull some sort of rabbit out of his hat or make some sort of agreement that looks good we'll see a lot of call buying uh, in the SPY we'll have to see how this is still a long way to go we're Wednesday uh, we're not really going to know what's going on until Friday so let's focus on today for now and GDP as far as levels are concerned, uh, the charts really aren't great. We had Euro dollar kind of plowing into new lows yesterday on a super choppy uh, news driven day. Very difficult to trade yesterday. I mean, we're basically 113.20, 112.90, but you know, you had sort of a jam job up to 40 and a jam job after the European tariffs down to 80. Tricky, tricky day. Um, of course, you had that Chinese headline, which was what a clusterfuck that was. Um, so, a lot happening on the news front. you got to be real careful. But not a lot to do on these levels because it's just not not a whole lot going on technically. Cable now we've we've printed a number of lows here on twenty seven thirty. Uh second time down there. Twenty six was the low yesterday. 23 was the low on the 15th. Obviously, figure 99. This whole 127 area is, is super important now. 
if we get some super hawkish dollar uh, action this is worth uh, this is worth a look I'm not super comfortable selling low ones in cable because uh, I just have a feeling they're gonna pass this brexit thing because everyone's just tired of brexit and they don't want this to drag on and um, even though consensus says it's not gonna pass in my small mind I think it probably has a good chance of passing so you have to be careful with this but for a day trade selling through 25 and then again through the figure especially if Powell is hawkish uh, seems seems a good professional trade elsewhere dollar yen keeps climbing we talked about this line yesterday getting closer and closer to it this sort of defines the recent sort of last couple of years uh, recent sort of the last couple of years downtrend really through 114.20 this might catch fire and catch a lot of people off guard obviously on um, you know the news from Trump and China are really going to drive this but we've got Powell today and we got the minutes, FOMC minutes tomorrow. So this will be very interesting. Dollar CAD, man, we got that one wrong. It was a good cut though. Sometimes good cuts are also worth noting. You know, we sold the one thirty two twelves, we cut there, forty two, traded all the way up to 33.30 last night made these new highs. I don't really know what to do with Dollar Cat except for the fact that oil's not really bouncing. And if oil's going to sag and hang around $50, this is not good uh, for the Canadian economy. The key key point is 133.80 through that, and you know, your target is 138 very uncomfortable up here on a valuation basis but gotta watch this closely no trade on that yet but we're just watching it closely what else is there Aussie yen this is gonna be the big mover on the Trump stuff the range highs for the last three months 8305 there will be stops above 55 today. Uh, if you believe these tariffs are going to get cut down or there's going to be conciliation between U.S. and China, this is your horse, Aussie Yen. But again, we got many days going into that. Uh, so be patient and let's just watch price and see how we do. As I said, not a lot to sink our teeth into this morning in Europe. We really just have nothing. We have, e, we have Eurozone money supply, which is worthless in an FX, from an FX perspective. Our main focus will be this cable chart um, and U.S. bonds. We like U.S. bonds lower. Equity is also a focus. We're bears on equities, so we're kind of just watching this for now. We're in, this is totally in nowheresville. No real good technical setups here. When we get up towards 2720 to 2740, we'll take a fresh look at this if we get up there. All right, I'll leave that. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Again, quiet European morning. We wait for the New Yorkers to come in and. We're really waiting for Powell to howl at the moon. Talk to you guys later. Ciao.